Welcome to the IT Free Training video on NTFS Explicit and Inherited Permissions. By the end of this video you will understand how to assign permissions directly and how to take advantage of inheritance, making it easier for the administrator to manage access to files and folders on their network. Explicit permissions are set when the object is first created or set by user action. Inherited permissions are permissions a child object obtains from a parent. For example, a file may obtain permissions from its parent folder or a subfolder may obtain permissions from its parent folder. Let's consider a typical real-world scenario to get a better understanding of how this works. If you consider the root folder of the C drive, the folder has some permissions that have already been assigned to it. In this case, they are explicit permissions since they are assigned directly to the folder. In this case, they give everyone read and execute permission and full control to administrators. The administrator wants to create a folder to hold user documents. Each user will have their own folder that they can store documents in. Also, the other users will be able to read the documents in other users' folders. The next step is to create a folder called Users on the C drive. The folder will inherit the permissions of the C folder. The next step is to create folders for each user. The first folder I will create is for the user Joe. Like all the user's folders, this folder will inherit the permissions of the parent folder. This will give all users the ability to read the folder. However, it will not give the user Joe the ability to write to the folder. In order to allow this to occur, an explicit permission will be added to the folder giving the user Joe modify access. This will allow Joe to write to the folder, however, all other users will only be able to read files. If the user Joe was to create a subfolder called Docs, notice that when this folder is created, it will inherit the permissions for the previous folder. You can start to see how explicit permissions and inherited permissions can be used together. To have a look at how you would achieve something like this in Windows, I will now open Windows Explorer and open the D drive and create a new folder and call it Users. If I now right click the folder and open the Properties, I can then select the Security tab to see the security that has been applied to this folder. There are four permissions that have been applied. In particular, notice Administrators and Users. If I cancel out of here and open the Users folder, I will create a folder called Joe. This folder needs to be able to be read by all users. However, Joe is the only one that should be able to write to it. To achieve this, I will right click on the folder and select Properties and then select the Security tab. From the Security tab, I will press the Edit button. Next, I need to press the Add button. Next, I need to enter in the username that I want to add. In this case, the username that I will enter in is Joe. Once Joe has been added, I next need to tick the Modify permissions, as by default, Joe will only have read access. Once permissions have been configured, I can exit out of here, open the Joe folder, and create a new folder called Docs. If I now open the Properties for the Docs folder and then select the Security tab, notice that the username and the other permissions have been inherited from the parent folder. Also notice that the user's permissions have been inherited. So this means that all users have read access. But maybe that was a mistake and later on it was decided that users should not be able to access each other's folders. To change the permission, I will once again open the properties for the Joe folder and select the Security tab. If I select Joe, notice that under Permissions, Permission ticks are black. This indicates that the permissions have been explicitly set. If I select the user's permissions, notice that these permissions are gray, indicating that they have been set through inheritance. Since they are gray, I cannot modify them. So how do I remove the permission so that the general user cannot access the folder? To do this, I need to remove the inherited permissions. To do this, I need to press the Advanced button. From Advanced Settings, the next step is to press the button 
disable inheritance at the bottom. Once pressed, I will be given a dialog asking if I want to copy the existing permissions or remove all the permissions. In this case, I will select the option Convert Inherited Permissions into Explicit Permissions on this object, which effectively copies the inherited permissions to the folder. If I now exit out of here, the permissions can now be edited since they are explicitly assigned to the folder rather than inherited. You can see when I select each permission, the ticks have changed from gray to black. To remove the user's permissions, I will press the edit button, select users, and then press the remove button. Apply the permission, change and exit out, and go back to Windows Explorer. I will next open the properties for the docs folder. Once again, I will select the security tab and you'll notice that the user John Doe and administrators have still been inherited, but the users group has been removed. This is indicated by the gray ticks, allowing the administrator to know quite quickly if permissions have been inherited or explicitly set. You can see how powerful inheriting can be, allowing a large hierarchy of permissions to be changed quite easily. Well, that covers the basics of explicit and inherited permissions. In a later video, I will look at how to have more control over inherited permissions. But until next time, thanks for watching.